What's up YouTube? How are you guys doing today? What's up YouTube? How are you guys doing today? Whoa. That was deja vu. You guys ever had deja vu? I never really understood why it's called deja. I mean, I know why it's called deja vu, but I never really understood how it happens and is there an afterlife or what the hell happens and why do you think or i mean i kind of understand that you, you might have been in a situation where you've been last time so it kind of clicks into one but i don't know it's it mind boggles me so in today's video i'm obviously going to be talking about deja vu and meaning t16 again and it's actually a long time ago then to start off in 2011 mlg orlando yeah mlg orlando i placed 13th through 16th and boom it's the same thing i got this event i'm actually going to be posting a couple pictures from uh columbus where i placed ninth and that was my first event of the old me now don't make fun of me i had i didn't completely hit puberty yet i don't know what it was but i am a little different you know more tan i guess not completely matured short hair uh stuff like that uh, I think I, that's not probably my best pictures, but I'm going to be posting it uh, at least a couple throughout this video. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about it. So this event, we placed top 16, which I'm going to say 16th because I don't say 13th through 16th. I'm not happy about whatever those placings. So, And and you, in MLG Orlando 2011, Black Ops 1, I ended up placing top 16 as well. And you know, this is my hometown. Flo not my town, but this is my home. You know, Florida, I live about three hours away from Orlando and Miami you know I gotta represent I gotta hold it down defending champion I gotta defend my state and it just went all downhill from there really downhill and I don't like making excuses man excuses are the last thing I want to make and in my last video I kind of you know put people on spot talked a little bit of smack but I'm not gonna do it this video uh, for the people that got too offended I apologize but someone had to say something about it but you know, last in 2011, same thing happened to us. I felt like uh, I don't remember completely, but I do remember a little bit. I was playing with VV, and that was the last event I think I played with them until I moved on to the collapse. And it was, I think, it was me, Reg Nasty, Fusion, and like Too Quick or something like that. That's like the first event Too Quick actually played with us. And that event, I'm pretty sure I, I there was like I felt like we weren't trying. You know, when you when you when you, like you can tell when you want to try, you can tell when you want to win. I was watching Optic yesterday, and I was watching them play, and I hear Scumpy. I can hear Scumpy roaring inside the freaking booth, and everyone calling out like crazy, and even in the listenings and going hard as fuck. And that's what I want in my team. I want energy. I want live. I want people to show and that they care and that they want to win. You know, that's where you really will see a lot of success and a lot of like a lot of wins, and. This event, I we I finally felt it. I finally saw it, and the rise in envy game. But that's that's four games late. Like, it's an event. Come on, we should be doing it at the start. And that's kind of what Optic did. I think the first day they didn't really do it at the start, and they started to do it finally after they realized you know they're down 0-6. But that's what we need to do. And the same thing, 2011 Black Ops One, MLG Orlando. I did basically. I felt the same thing. I'm pretty sure we were playing, and. You know, it's we just weren't all there, and I really want to change that uh, this next month, I guess. We probably have a month before the next event, a month and a week or something like that. And so we have a lot of time to practice, and that's a good thing. And we're just going to practice. It's it's going to be hard, you know, working on things that we need a lot of work on and just like motivation and all, all these different things, especially with aches, sensor. I think Slasher is pretty good overall. And we're just going to have to fix these things. And it's going to be difficult. It's not going to be an easy task at all. But I want to fix this. I want to go to vents. And I want aches to be roaring and, like, screaming in the in the freaking booth. Like, I don't have, I don't want it to have to be always optic for him to, like, want to try. I just want him to try, period. And I understand. He, the, the, the guy has won 19 times. Like, I understand. And he has a girlfriend now that he loves and all this shit. And I understand where he's coming from in the, in the sense that... Sometimes he just doesn't have that like drive anymore, that energy. But I really want to change that. I really want to motivate him, and I really want to get all of us on the right foot. I know we can be a winning team. I know we got, we have what it takes to win, and I really want to change that. I'm really gonna try to focus on that. Hopefully things go my way. Hopefully things go the right way, and hopefully, you know, things change for the better. So this is this is basically like deja vu. I was so depressed this event. 
I mean, after even getting 3 0 even before the event finished, having even, like, finished, you know, we got 3 0 a couple times, and I was so demoralized, like, what do we have to do? What do I have to do to help us win? Playing Rise and Envy, uh, I, I stepped it up a lot. You know, I, I was playing really good, but it just wasn't enough. Uh, I would say against Envy, we mainly choked. I'll just leave it there. We choked. So, I mean, overall, we started to finally pick it up. Finally, you know, play good, play better, play more as a team. We had energy in the booths. You know, we were focused. We were really into it. And I loved it. It made me happy. And I told my team before, like a text message, I told them, like, I, tell, I sent them a long essay, but whatever. I told them, I don't care if we lose. I don't care if we get raped. As long as I see effort and I see everyone trying and everyone going hard, that's all I want. And that's where I left it off in the end. And, you know, it, and a part of me was kind of happy that I finally saw it. But a part, but a whole another side of me is demoralized and upset that I saw it too late. And that I felt like, you know, we're, the, like we're in an event. Like, just step it up. Focus up. We come here to play. We come here to win. We travel. People travel from everywhere, you know, to, to get to this freaking event so we can win or at least try our asses off. And if we lose as a team, we lose as a team. I don't care. But as long as we tried and we saw effort, then it's fine. But... Whatever, just, it was deja vu, you know, like like I said, MOG Orlando 2011, I felt the same exact thing. I felt like we didn't try, I felt like it was it was Black Ops 1, a whole other game, but it just hit me, you know, and uh, realizing my mistakes back then, you know, hit me again, even though I saw a lot of mistakes, not even as players, as a team, and, and it's not even gameplay so it's not so much of the gameplay it's more like m mentally attitude stuff like that that we can change drastically and it'll help us improve so you know i love this going back because you you always want to forget how is it you always want to forget about the past no you always want to understand the past and kind of and kind of kind of like forgive but never forget because you always want to learn from your mistakes and I, I le I've been learning throughout this whole COD career, my whole COD career, my whole gaming. And things have definitely changed, and I'm definitely going to, you know, change it up. I want to be the next team that goes t 10 win streaks in the land. I want to win 2K, 5Ks. I don't care what connection we have. You know, I'm going to I'm gonna try to change it all. I'm going to be playing a lot more, practicing, all that stuff. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like this little video. I uh, hope you guys like the pictures. Uh, I know I look different. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'm Faze Apathy. You know who I am. And I'm out.